Hello everyone, welcome to another segment of Okwe Inspires and today we are going to be talking about an interesting topic that drives each and every one of us to become a better version of ourselves. So please stay tuned for this interesting topic. welcome back welcome back okay so welcome back our topic for today is find and fuel your passion find and fuel your passion what is passion passion is your potential passion is what drives your entire life passion to me is the fuel in the fire of action when you have passion for something you love it and what do you do you act on it when what you desire most in life is fueled by passion it yields an amazing result passion makes you yearn for more push for more press in the more fight for more work smart and hard for more when you have passion for something you do all it takes to achieve it you do all it takes to see it in a successful state. We all have one thing or the other that we are all passionate about. When we find that particular thing, what happens? It gives us this feeling of confidence. When you have passion for something and you do not act on it, it becomes useless, it becomes dead. I have a friend that gave me the permission to share a story and I'm going to share with you now. So she is someone that loves anything that has to do with business, anything that has to do with business. And on the long run, she lost passion for it. And she got an opportunity to work in an organization that pays well. It's a job she doesn't really have any passion for, but because of the pay rate, she went for it. And after a year, she called me and she said, I don't think I can continue with this job any longer. And I asked why. She said she doesn't know, but I can figure it out. Something was missing. And what was missing? She never had passion for the job. She went for the job because, oh yes, it pays well, of course. After a year, she lost passion for it. We discussed together and asked her this question. So what next? And she said, I think, I still have to go back to my business. In essence, something was missing. There was a part of the puzzle that was missing. What was it? Passion. She never had passion for what she was doing. When I see someone taking a coffee, that doesn't mean I like coffee. That doesn't mean coffee is the best thing for me. That doesn't mean I should start taking coffee. No, when you see others doing something, that doesn't mean it's the right path for you. That doesn't mean it's the right thing for you to do. We all have one or two things that we are all passionate about. And when you do what you do not have passion for, it creates this feeling of not being fulfilled, a feeling of frustration, and you can even get lost. Do not take a step because others are taking it. What works for A might not work for B. Never ever settle for the minimum because it's not working right now. Who told you it's not gonna work? You will never or you can never imagine what you are capable of until you fuel the passion inside of you by pressing in the more, by pushing in the more. Do not do things because others are doing it. If you could do one thing, one single thing to transform your life, to change your life. I would encourage you to find what you are passionate about, fuel it, and work with it. Finally, it takes consistency and actively fueling of your passion, of one's passion to succeed in life and also to fulfill our God-given purpose. And when I talk about fueling, what do I mean? Fueling your passion 
comes from one thing through prayers because it is only through prayers that you can get your eyes of understanding opened then next you have clarity then next you have the blueprints Woo! that is how to follow your passion the common obstacle that can hinder us from finding and foiling our passion is what fear f-e-a-r but remember this the book of second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power of love and of sound mind so while finding and foiling your own passion in life prayerfully walk with god because God alone gives the power to do all things. So we have come to the end of today's segment on Upway Inspires and I hope you all have learned one or two things. Thank you so much. And if you find this helpful in any way, please leave a comment below and click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you again with another beautiful dose of inspiration. Thank you all for watching.